Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, this video is very different from all the other videos I've made. I want to show you how you can transfer images on t-shirts. If you are watching this, then maybe you want to do a t-shirt like this for yourself or for a friend, or maybe you want to do a fundraising and sell these t-shirts. Whatever your reasons are, thank you so much for being here. And once you learn how to transfer images, you don't have to only transfer on t-shirts. You can have tote bags, hats, masks even. Whatever fabric you have, you can transfer on. So what are the things that you will need? You will need a printer and the printer cannot be a laser printer. It should be a regular home inkjet printer. You will also need transfer papers. One thing you should know about transfer paper is that there are two types of transfer paper. There are transfer papers for dark fabric and there are transfer papers for white fabric. It's almost the same thing, but there's a small little difference on how you use each one. And I'm going to explain that in this video. If you're wondering where you can find transfer paper, you can find them on Amazon. If you live in the Middle East, you can find them on Noon. You can even find them in your local bookstore. I purchased these from a bookstore. Um, in fact, both were the same price, but the thing is that the dark transfer paper has only five sheets inside, whereas the white one has 10, which means that the dark transfer paper is double the price of the light one. Once you open your transfer paper, you can see that it has two sides. So when you're placing this paper in the printer, have the side with this sticker facing downwards because as the printer takes in the paper, it will print on this side. As for the dark transfer paper, when you place that in your printer, have the grid side facing upward so that the print will be on the clear white side. If you're good at drawing, you can make your own designs. What I did is I printed out the Lebanese flag and I had my two children paint it for me. I have twins, they're three years old. So I had one paint one side of the flag and the other painted the other side. And what I did is simply I placed that on my printer and I printed this picture out on the transfer paper and I did that on white t-shirt as well as on a black one and this was the result. As for the design I'm wearing today and I'll show you how I transferred this particular image on the shirt. This was designed by my cousin Rosa. She just launched her own Instagram page. It's called Rosa DM Designs. I'll put the information in the description box. Go check out her Instagram page. I wanted the word Liberut to be in the image so she created this beautiful image. I'm going to put in the description box a link that that will take you to these images and you can use them. There's no copyright, nothing. Feel free to print it and use it. I showed you these images earlier, but I did print this one on the dark fabric transfer paper and this one on the light fabric transfer paper. Now the difference between them is the following. For dark fabric, usually the transfer paper is a bit different because as you can see, it has a part that you can peel. Once you peel it, this side, the print side will be up. So you place that on the dark fabric having the print upward. Then you place a wax paper and iron the print. Whereas with white fabric, the case is different because in this one, you have to print out, especially if there's a word, if there's no word, if it's just a picture, it wouldn't make a difference. But if there's a word, you need to flip that on the computer before you print it out so that your print, the word is flipped. And once you place that on the shirt and iron it on the shirt, it will be the right side up and then you just peel out. Before I start to sum up with light fabric, you place the image, print side down, you iron and then you peel. Whereas with dark fabric, first you peel and then you place the image, image side up, 
you place a wax paper and then you iron. I'm going to show you both ways right now. Okay, so I'm going to start with the light fabric first. I'm going to place this where I want it to be and then once I'm happy with the position, I'm going to iron it on. Remember, just don't use any steam. You need your iron to be dry and of course also put it on the maximum heat. And it's just as easy as that. I'm going to press the iron. And for the size of this image, I only need maximum a minute. And of course, don't just leave it in one place. So as you can see, I'm going to start. And once it's placed where it is, you need to use both hands and try to give it a push. And of course, just wait two minutes uh, for it to get cold and we're going to peel this off. Okay, it's pretty satisfying. And there you go. Oops. Okay, that's your. So this step is optional, but if you want, place a wax paper on top and go over it for just 20 seconds. Okay. All right, so with black fabric, the transfer paper, as I mentioned, is a bit different. We're going to peel. I'm going to place that right where I want it. So let's say somewhere, somewhere here. And then we're going to place the wax paper on top. I use both hands, push down and move in circular motion like this. You can also work on one part and slowly drag it over the flap. And just... And that's it. That's how you can transfer on dark fabric. A final important thing I should mention is washing the shirt. You can hand wash it, you can even put it in the washing machine. I tested both ways and nothing happened to the print. In fact, I was curious as to how we can remove it. So I soaked it in very, very hot water for at least an hour and then I saw that the image was rubbing off. So I scratched. Uh, it wasn't that easy. So I'm telling you, if you want to remove the picture, you can use hot water, but it's not that easy. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Please DM me or tag me on Instagram if you end up making your own designs. I would really love to see them and I'll see you next time. Bye.